Hi everyone, this is Shisho. Welcome back to my channel. I thought we'd do a little update video just to let you know that I ended up getting an upgrade uh, to the tools at my disposal to be able to create this content. As I mentioned uh, a few weeks ago that I was uh, trying to do some live sessions on my desktop, uh, the computer uh, that I've been using for a long time. Uh, the beast that I've gotten to do many, many things for me. Uh, worked it so hard, I even burnt out an SSD drive on it a while ago. And um, what I needed to do to be able to do live sessions was to have an upgrade to my system. And I looked at desktops and stuff like this, but what I wanted to do is get a laptop because I do want to move around and have different places where we end up doing live sessions. So I finally got my hands on a laptop I was looking for. And it was sort of... Uh, sort of endeavor getting my hands on this thing because the first place I ordered it from is a local um, a Vancouver based uh, store sort of a company that I've been around for like 25 years 22 years in Vancouver and, um, I've been buying from them almost since day one since the first year that they were in operation and I ordered this laptop from them a few weeks ago and they told me it was going to be like a two month waiting period and then two weeks after ordering it and paying for it in full i found out that they had uh, they had expanded to ontario i found out that they closed all their ontario stores and then i found out that they closed their vancouver stores as well so i found this information out at like five six o'clock in the evening and i went on their forum and started talking to people and uh, people mentioned that there was only one location that they were open and that was in a mall and the only reason that they were open was because they signed a contract with the mall that didn't allow them to close shop before the end of the month so the next morning i quickly got up and drove to the mall and um, went into their store and they were like what are you doing here we're done and i went up to them and said i want a refund and they went okay so i guess some people have been doing this and i heard on forums that's the only place you could get a refund so i ended up getting the refund um, and once i got the refund i ended up ordering the same computer from an online uh, source and i ended up getting it uh, a few days ago and i've sort of played around with it a little bit right so that's a long story of how i got how we ended up getting the upgrade and uh, it was it cost me a pretty penny it cost me like two grand um so it would have been a pretty big hit not to get that refund from the store to be able to make this purchase right so um i ended up getting this refund i ended up getting the computer and i've already played around with it for a bit right and it can do live broadcasting and i've already tried it out on my twitch um, a twitch account twitch channel that i've mentioned before and i provide i'll provide the links uh, in the description of this video right but on twitch basically i'm going as chicho live right so if you search chicho live it should show up there if you are on twitch okay but basically i wanted to give you a lowdown of um, how we're going to roll this out how i'm going to you know learn what's required to learn to be able to live broadcast right and um, what i've decided to do is do the following basically initially i mentioned when we we're going to do live broadcast with that i was just basically going to do live broadcast on twitch and once looking into it and looking into the youtube live stuff that my computer wasn't able to handle and uh, now that i you know got this computer and i played around with it a little bit I'm sort of seeing how things may unfold right so basically what we're going to do is um, we're going to do one twitch live broadcast um, hopefully soon i've sort of um, keeping people um, updated as to you know what i'm about to roll out or what's going on through my patreon page and again if you're you know if you like my work if you if you appreciate what's being done uh, patreon is an amazing way to support creators, content creators, not just me, but any content creator. And the way I've set it up personally is on a monthly basis. If you're, you know, supporting this project through through monthly, you know, dollar, two dollar, five dollar, whatever it is that you're paying toward to the creators to be able to create content, right? And one thing that does is it allows us, anyone that's creating content like this or even larger scale or smaller scale, it allows us to budget right because being able to upgrade move on you know evolve grow uh with technology with what 
needs to be done to share information that requires a certain amount of time and a certain amount of funds hardware software whatever it might be so if you are you know you you do like this content you can support the work through patreon that being said you don't have to that you know the way i'm i do stuff share and share like i don't necessarily i don't i'm not charging anyone to be able to access my information so on my patreon page everything that i post on there is available to people that are supporting me and to people that are not supporting me uh fun wise you can be supporting me uh by liking commenting sharing or whatever it is right so you can go to the patreon page and if you go to the post section where i post you know the updates and stuff like this you'll be able to follow what i'm up to through the patreon page right so what i'm going to do is with this first set of live broadcasts is live broadcast on twitch first and what i thought we'd do on twitch for that for that uh, live streaming session is basically uh, since i've been getting a lot of requests to talk about politics and i've made some political videos and i mentioned that i'm going to approach politics through um, economics one thing i thought i would do that some people might appreciate is because i've gotten the new computer and this computer is it's like a fine-tuned machine my desktop is a beast like really it's a beast i've been working that thing like like a workhorse for a number of years now right and that computer my desktop computer has a lot of bookmarks a lot of places where you know sources that i have that i seek out information and what i want to do is basically take some of the top sources that i have where i acquire information specifically politics and economics and i'm going to transfer those onto here right so i thought what we'll do for the first live broadcast live stream it will be on twitch and because it's political economics it might be a little bit too sensitive for youtube so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some of the book bookmarks transfer some of the bookmarks from the desktop to the laptop and it's not going to be all of them and it's going to be It'll be a fair bit <laughs> because I have a few different sources I, I go to, but I thought we'll live stream that and you know I'll show you you know the sources that I have for politics and economic news. And hopefully that's gonna happen soon rather than later. And I've sort of posted the comment, post uh, made a post on Patreon asking people when would be the best time to do that. So you can check on Patreon to find out when that live stream will take place, or you can you know subscribe to my twitch channel which is chicho live and you know i'm pretty sure once you subscribe there i'll set up the event because you can do you know setting up a certain event certain live stream at a certain time so i'll set that up uh you know we'll pick a date through patreon and we'll set that up and i'll you know announce it on twitch and you can watch the live stream there and as long as the content is not going to be going down too many rabbit holes if the discussion comes up because people can comment and stuff and i'll definitely talk about whatever you guys want to talk about while we get that job done which is transferring the bookmarks to this to this computer uh, as long as stuff is not too sensitive i will definitely upload the live stream that we do on twitch on youtube as well so you'll be able to watch it on youtube as well and if there is anything sensitive i'll probably edit that stuff out okay that's the live stream I want to do on Twitch. The live stream that I would like to do on YouTube, because what I what the end game for this is basically, uh, after playing around with this for a bit, uh, I found out that there's software that I can load on and I can live stream both on Twitch and YouTube at the same time, right? But I don't want to go down that far yet. Since I'm sort of learning this stuff, I sort of want to take it really nice and slow and make sure I get this thing done properly because uh everything you see on my channel everything that i produce whatever it is this is a solo operation so it requires a fair bit of time from my end and um, i really want to take things slow and make sure i'm managing everything properly and i'm not uh, reaching beyond my means right now that's going to affect the quality of content that i'm putting out right so i really want to keep the quality to a level that i'm satisfied and take things slowly and grow this to, you know in a way where I can manage it and hopefully at, at a certain point where 
you know, I am getting enough support through Patreon where the channel has grown to a level where there is a certain amount of funding com coming from YouTube or whatever source that might be, then I can hopefully bring at least one more person on to take some of the back take care of some of the back end stuff that i've been doing right some of the back end work that i've been doing and i can focus more on the content creation of the work right now that said i know i'm going down a lot of tangent but there's uh, a lot of things going on in the background so basically the twitch live stream will be more related to politics the youtube live stream that we're going to do I thought what we'll do is uh, um, I've already created a new eBay account so I thought what we'll do is go through eBay and take a look at how I end up searching for the comic books that I search for mainly comic books I do buy some other stuff on eBay as well but I thought I'd sort of run you through how I end up doing my searches on eBay and I how I track things and how I try to figure out if something is undervalued or is priced too high or if it's fair value or whatnot and the types of auctions that i might participate in right and i thought that'd be a lot of fun and the way we're going to do these first two live streams the one on twitch and the one on youtube is basically going to be a sort of a gaming style live stream where you're going to see my the computer screen and my i guess the what do you call it the camera from the computer from the laptop is going to be focused on my face and you're going to see what i'm going to do on the computer on the screen that way you can follow and um, sort of if you're interested to see what the process is for you know going on ebay and the way i i do my purchases on ebay and i thought that'd be a lot of fun and maybe we'll take some of that data and create a table and then later on take a look at what happened with the prices of some of the books uh, we ended up looking at and definitely I haven't tried the like, YouTube live stream yet but definitely from what, what I understand and what I've seen so far through the YouTube live stream um, it works sort of the same way as Twitch where you can comment so what we'll do we'll you know do the live stream on YouTube and any books that you guys are interested in for us to look for to do a search for we'll do those ones right I do have some books that I definitely I keep track of on my personal eBay account but uh, what we can do is take a look at books that you guys are interested in and see you know what kind of deals we can find okay and that'll be the YouTube live stream so we're gonna do one on Twitch we're gonna do one on YouTube once I'm satisfied that I have a hang of uh, what needs to be done both on Twitch and YouTube to be able to manage the conversations and you know make sure we're not losing the stream make sure that i can answer all the questions or interact uh, in a way that i'm satisfied and you guys are satisfied then what i'm going to do is load on the secondary tertiary i guess software that we need to to be able to live stream on twitch and youtube at the same time okay because all that conversation has to all go to one location that way i can read the comments and interact and answer any questions that do come up right and that's sort of the the way i'm deciding to approach the live stream sessions and hopefully we'll get to live streaming both on youtube and twitch at the same time sooner again rather than later and both these live streams are going to be more looking at the screen and myself and we're going to walk through the computer of how i do certain things I do have other live streams that I would love to do. You know, may they be related to comic books. You know, if we get a comic book haul, might as well do it live, right? Or I could definitely pull out some boxes um, from my collection and we can go through it live. I would love to go into the kitchen with you guys and show you guys some of the recipes that I have, some of the food that I cook for myself, prep for myself, and uh, share with you some of the recipes that have been within our family for generations, right? Because I do, as you can tell with the pomegranate videos, I do like to eat well. I do love food. And uh, I think it's extremely important um, to put the right type of fuel into our bodies, right? So I would definitely love to do that. And both those will not be related to the screen. Maybe we'll click in and out of the screen if we're doing comic book stuff if we want to check a price on something right but um, for the food stuff that'll definitely just be us in the kitchen 
And uh, one of the things I would love to do is do marathon math live stream sessions with you guys. Um, because there's a lot of content that I've created that is not ASMR that would create it during when I was um, doing the urban type of math, the graffiti type of math, going into the city and uh, creating the stuff for language and mathematics and math in real life. What I'd like to do for some of that content, because we're missing some of the crucial beginning information for mathematics, for ASMR math, is maybe do marathon ASMR math sessions for maybe language of mathematics series one where we talked about you know the real number set and some of the basic operations and go to the language of mathematics series two where we talked about exponents and radicals and expand on those right and um, that would be amazing and i definitely will require um, a little bit more gear hardware and software to be able to do that stuff uh, i'm not too sure about the software i should be able to find the appropriate software but i will definitely need some additional hardware to be able to get that done right and again if you you know if you like this content if you enjoy this work um, please consider supporting this project through my patreon page on a monthly basis preferably because that way i can you know budget myself and sort things out and you know if i do need additional hardware maybe lights camera I would need definitely to set up some kind of space permanent set in in the place that we're living in right now that way I can get the con you know content build without having to build the sets every time right especially for the mass stuff especially for the mass stuff for the food and the comic book stuff um, that stuff um, is easier to do than the math stuff that's for sure that's for sure um, sort of anyway because the math stuff I it is a grand picture that I have in mind and I definitely do want the stuff connected to future content that might be coming up even two three four years from now right because even some of the stuff that I'm uh, you know we're discussing when it comes to grade 8 mathematics grade 9 mathematics I am sort of planting seeds that those seeds will bear fruit in grade 12 mathematics and grade 11 mathematics and even in college algebra calculus or whatever it might be right so this is sort of my uh, scattered long-winded sort of uh, chaotic update as to what we're up to what we're going to do where we're going and where i am right now okay i hope you like um hopefully i didn't miss anything uh if i have if there's anything you want to know how certain things might unfold just you know post a comment i am active here and i try to reply to everyone as long as youtube sends me the uh, notification that there are there are comments and replies and stuff like this sometimes i don't get those sometimes they don't make it to me right so apologies if I'm, i haven't uh, addressed anything any questions that you guys might have had okay definitely looking forward to the live stream sessions we actually did a uh, when i got the computer i've done a couple of live streams as well just to test things out myself personally but the first live stream we ended up doing i went to my uh, uh, friends that i have that know a little bit about this this stuff know a fair bit about this stuff and they gave me a hand setting this stuff this stuff up so when I, we were live on twitch we actually had someone join the conversation that was very excited um, that i was actually doing a live session live stream and i wasn't expecting anyone to notice that it was on there since i haven't really been active on there the only thing i did was sort of announce that i was creating that channel in a few uh, previous video right so when the person came on i all of a sudden i was sort of i was like surprised and they were really excited and i got really excited and they actually helped us out a little bit into eliminating a feedback loop we were getting through the live stream so thank you very much um, for helping out if you are watching this uh 99 98 i believe um, I'm bad with names so hopefully I got that right thank you for helping out in that and thank you for the excitement because you got me pumped seriously um, that's why I've been sort of uh, trying to fast track this live stream stuff and uh, learn as much as I can with the software and this new computer as well this new computer has a new operating system right so I'm sort of trying to sort myself uh, through this operating system and I do have to sort of fine-tune it I've already 
removed one software that's on there that's nasty software and i'll i'll play around with it more so if you see anything popping up while we're doing the live stream sessions on twitch and uh, youtube um, apologies about those i'll try to fix those up um, as i uh, as i get to as i get used to this uh, new computer okay and uh, that's about it i hope you enjoy i hope uh, you like the content coming up uh, and if there's any suggestions uh, or recommendations you have please post comments a lot of the videos i do create come from recommendations and suggestions and if you do like this work i'll mention this again support this project through patreon okay that's it for now i'll see you guys in the next video